Hi there, this is Ron Rogers, and I'm going to tell you about the Antique Aircraft Association fly-in and the Eastern Cavalcade of Flight. The uh, Daisies put together these really nice challenge coins uh, for those who attended, and this is the pre-event where we're gathering together to go down to the air show. Now, um, you guys have, uh, if you've seen the previous video uh, about flying up there with the thunderstorm encounter, um, uh, you can probably skip over this. But basically, um, uh, and I've got some uh, radar depictions so you can see how this thing developed. But basically, when we took off, there was nothing. The uh, uh, weather watch, severe weather watch, had expired uh, like 45 minutes earlier. Nothing had developed. And you take off, you can see a cumulus cloud up there, but it's not painting anything on radar. This is ill. Illinois, northern Illinois, you know, we get uh, um, cumulus clouds all the time and often they don't develop into anything. And uh, we were supposed to be clear that time and, uh, you know, everything was supposed to be wonderful. Uh, but uh, this little guy popped up really, really quickly. It just shows you how fast they can develop. And I've got some pictures of the radar um, before and what occurred um, after we got on the ground. But basically, we got this little isolated guy there who got uh, fairly close to the Dacey Airport and made uh, a bit of a challenge getting in there. Uh, but we got in, got covered, got uh, pretty well drenched. In fact, I'm um, going to go out and cover up the uh, or clean up the airplane today, get all the bugs off of it and stuff and the water spots. Um, I uh, went up flying uh, patterns and aerobatics yesterday and had a really good time with that. I kind of was worried that I was getting a little bit unproficient in my landings because I hadn't done a lot of landings. I've done a lot of flying, but uh, not a whole lot of landings. And uh, you really got to keep on your toes with a tail dragger. So um, uh, I got uh, some very nice uh, patterns up at Dacey. Had the airport all to myself. Had a nice little uh, chat with Phil Dacey there after I flew in and got some fuel. But anyway, you can watch the um, the kind of arrival here and uh, messing around with this storm, if you want to use that term. Um, <laughs> staying away from the storm. But um, this guy wasn't much of a problem. He was really isolated. Um, so... Uh, you know, if he would have uh, caused uh, significant issues with landing at Daisy, I could have simply gone off on to uh, an airport east of their Galt and uh, been in the uh, the clear, more or less, although that is where the storm moved. So um, I would have got rained in over there, but I could have landed in, um, you know, in nice situations, uh, you know, without worrying about it. But basically, um, the storm was to the south. It had, it had moved over the airfield. And I'll show you this, uh, like I said, this radar. But I was able to come in, cover the airplane up. It was interesting. We had a lot of airplanes there. And nobody was tied down because we weren't uh, really expecting anything. And fortunately, the, the storm uh, was a little nasty, obviously. But um, it, uh, it didn't really produce too much uh, gusty winds or anything. I mean, there was a little bit uh, as I was landing and a little bit of turbulence and stuff like that. But, uh, and I do a kind of a non-standard approach here. Nobody else is in the pattern. Uh, but do a non-standard approach here and um, uh, 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 get the airplane down and uh, at least covered up. But uh, anyway, uh, they put on a very nice uh, setup here. Uh, with uh, food and band and everything. And we had to leave early because uh, I had to get home before dark. But next time we'll probably drive up uh, just so we have more time to, uh, to stay there. And, uh, yeah, the runway, yeah. I had a little bit extra speed, which uh, doesn't help you on a tail dragger, but I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, not deal with any uh, gust issues and have the extra energy and uh, then dissipate it, you know, once I got down close to the runway. So, uh, that was it. Got it back up here. Got the uh, the cover on. Got thoroughly soaked doing it. But uh, after that, everything went nicely.
Hi there, this is Ron Rogers, and this is the start of the Blakesburg, Ant Blakesburg Iowa Antique Aircraft Association uh, cavalcade from the east. I came up here from Crystal Lake all the way to Dacey, uh, 24 miles, something like that. But uh, it was good when I took off. You notice the airplane is a little bit wet. I can't get my wife to uh, uh, dry it off there to keep from water spotting, but it's a little wet. Uh, and I'll show you the picture of the, the radar there. We had quite a storm uh, that just popped up out of nowhere. Nasty as could be. You can see the remnants over there in the dark. But these are some of the participants who have come in. I'm uh, going back home tonight. Uh, not staying overnight here because we're flying out tomorrow at about 10. We're getting breakfast at 8, so I'll be back nice and early. And here is some of the, the people that have come to the um, dinner. We're having barbecue, and earlier they had a uh, whiskey distillery tour, I guess. And uh, um, they're having some music tonight. But we have to get back before dark. Um, and because uh, I'm not qualified to carry a passenger at night, I haven't done my landings. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that setup. Look at all those tables. This is really cool. And anyway, this is the setup. Okay, the food and airplanes that get to be inside. No, um, oh, that's kind of cool. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, that's gonna be nice. Nice little flight down there. Hopefully tomorrow, hopefully the weather will be better. And here's the band set up. Mm -hmm. huh. 500 horsepower, that's nice. Okay, he laid on that when he took off and landed. That's not something I'm going to do. Don't worry about that. Gotcha. Hey, Ronnie. All righty. All right, so here's the pre-departure weather, and you, you can see from the uh, previous video about taking off, you can see the cumulus there, but it wasn't painting anything. It wasn't showing any nastiness in it, but uh, this is after we landed. The storm had developed, and uh, 0C0 is Dacey Airfield, and it's right over the top of it there, and uh, as we uh, waited and had food, it uh, moved on uh, off of the area nicely, kept going uh, east and southeast, went over Crystal Lake, actually, and I got another apt depiction of of the radar supposedly it went up to 60,000 feet there over Crystal Lake and the blue dot is us back up at uh, Harvard Dacey that sort of thing and uh, there it is moving on even more while we're enjoying uh, dinner and the uh, musician and um, that sort of thing and just uh, visiting with people and then finally it moved uh, well on so I had a nice trip back uh, you could see that uh, you know the ground was freshly wet with the rain but uh, it was just a very pleasant flight home and here's a closer view of some of the aircraft that are going down to Blakesburg, Iowa. And this Stearman, look at that paint job. I would hate to try to be the wingman flying formation on this guy. I think that would be just a, a little bit uh, confusing. I think they said this was a weather recall aircraft. When you saw this guy flying, you were supposed to come back. Beautiful Stearman. Ah, yeah. Stearman Weather Recall Paint Scheme. It's out of Arizona. Wow. And getting ready to start dinner here. Probably not too much further in the future. The nasty weather has fortunately moved off and won't be a factor. At least I hope not trying to get home, because I'm getting home tonight. Anyway, Dacey Airfield.
And the weather recall steerman is departing. And uh, I'm not sure where it went to, but uh, the next day it was down at the antique airfield uh, tied down. So I saw it the next day. So, time to head on back, get in the airplane, crank it up, and uh, I've, I've shortened the, the trip back there, but you can see it was a, a very nice, pleasant trip back, and uh, have a very nice approach and landing back at uh, Lake in the Hills Airport, and of course we started up, uh, taxied to the runway, took off to the south, and did the required um, flyby of the facility before we headed on out. And I had one person ask about it. I'm uh, programming the Garmin 660 for navigation. And to the right, you can just see part of the G5 attitude indicator. Um, this aircraft isn't uh, certified for IFR. There wasn't room. Uh, they told me to put a radio that was uh, certified for IFR. So it's a totally VFR aircraft. But I'm not uh, totally stupid at times. So I like to have at least uh, an, an attitude indicator if I get into trouble. Uh, at least I've got that to make a 180 degree turn, get out of there. And you can see the sun setting behind the trees there. And it's amazing for a 1929 design, actually it's certified in 29, uh, you know, no artificial stall warning, uh, none of the niceties, 
but it is a nice flying airplane. It is just a joy to fly. Of course there you can see the G5 indicator, attitude indicator a little bit better and I have an electronic G meter and I have an electronic altimeter which kind of concerned me being electronic but uh, you know I said well it's a VFR airplane uh, but at least I have an analog airspeed indicator. So back to Crystal Lake, you can see the uh, uh, towering queue in the, uh, the foreground there. And here I shortened up the trip back and coming across Crystal Lake. In fact, uh, my house is down there on the uh, kind of the middle of North Shore there. We fly very near it uh, coming in. Uh, always like flying over the lake and uh, uh, it... Uh, Summer is getting ready to depart, so there's a lot of people out there enjoying it in the, the last gasp of summer, if you will. So as you can see, there's Lake in the Hills Airport coming into view. I'm going to cross over and enter a left downwind for runway 26. And uh, yeah, I know, non-standard pattern entry, but uh, there was nobody around on the radio, nobody around on the ADSB showing. Uh, so, uh, you know, it was a quiet night, so I entered the pattern there. Left downwind and like to fly a reasonably tight pattern because uh, uh, that's the kind of Patterns that work well with a biplane because when you pull the power back with all that drag, it really comes down nicely. And I like to be able to uh, glide uh, at least to the runway uh, in case the engine quit uh, without having to call a Uber uh, to get back to the airport. And as you can see, the runway is still wet from the passing thunderstorms, and you can see one of them there off in the distance. And there was a just amazing uh, evening light show uh, with, those, uh, with those storms. Well, that concludes the first day of the activities going down the Antique Aircraft Association fly-in. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.